Coloring books are a great way for kids to get creative, but when you hand one to an adult, they will inevitably envision some pretty outrageous scenes. Keep watching, and you'll see what I mean. Amazing! Ah, it's just some girl playing with some flowers. When an adult got his hands on this innocent little image, though, they managed to successfully turn it into a borderline illegal piece featuring a paedophilic paparazzi woodland creature. What started as an ant having fun ended up becoming an image of an ant in agony getting fried. Judging by this image, I'm pretty sure that the kid will grow up to be an absolute monster, because if history teaches us anything, is that the most notorious bad guys in history always start with animal torture. This image of an alien turned murderous thug is pretty much how I envision humanity's first encounter with aliens will go down. Besides, it's about time our species had a good old culling, considering all the awful stuff we've done ever since we existed on this planet. This image of a dog watching what looks like its offspring fighting already seems sort of out of place in a children's colouring book. Then with the addition of some colour, this image manages to tick every box in the seedy underworld checklist. Violence, gambling, child labour, and dog on dog crime. Ah Sesame Street, how could you deface that classic piece of children's television? Here's your answer, in all its dark lord worshipping glory. All you have to do is surround them with satanic ritualistic symbols and voila. This image seems to touch on the classic dog-cat rivalry. The sassy cat pictured here bossing the nice dog around whilst being unapologetic, as cats usually are. But with the addition of some colour, the image gets a little darker, as if the cat is actually holding onto the dog's insides. You have to love cartoon caterpillars. They always look so happy. In colour, they can appear different though. There's no question about it. Whoever did this was probably trying to entice kids all over the world to join the eternal worship of the Prince of Lies. After all, you have to get them young. Many pet lovers wonder what their furry critters do whenever they're not home. Well, mystery solved. They just chill, albeit in a very, very illegal way. This image just says, draw the jungle behind the monkey, which for kids would entail a lush green forest. Leave it in the hands of a dirty adult, though, and you'll have a bush of a very different nature. Looks like the monkey still enjoyed it, though. With a caption like, poo -ee. This black and white image could be a great target for scatology lovers. However, the adult in this instance decided that Donald would prefer some experimentation time with Daisy Duck instead. Now, based on Donald Duck's usual sour expression in this unholy image, I'm betting it was all Daisy's idea. A classic cute image of a girl nursing a cat back to great health is what most might see. If you've got a rather twisted mind, you might come up with a torture scene like this though. Granted, it's pretty impressive when you consider all the effort placed in adding all those gruesome details in this corrupt piece of kids art. The normal among us assume that Elmo is using his hand to control that puppet. Others, however, can now see why Elmo's always so jiggly. I mean, I'd be that happy too if I was as well endowed as him. Playtime just took on a whole different meaning. With a bit of colour, Dora the South American Explorer is no longer just shushing for the sake of a pose. She's trying to escape the damn US Border Patrol after another adventure across the border. We can only imagine what kind of narcotics she has in that bag of hers. The great thing about minions is those annoying yellow midgets are willing to do anything in order to please their master. If you don't believe me, then just look at this picture right here. Even more chilling is the fact that we don't see a banana in this image. I do have an idea where it is though, judging by the look of Gru's face. What started off as something saying, welcome to the circus, became a whole lot sinister with a whip and changing the word circus to auction. Nothing ruins a kid's colouring book worse than some good old human trafficking. Ah, a nice picture of a child picking flowers. I mean, brains. This masterpiece goes to show that with a box of crayons and a sick imagination, you can turn a quiet day at the park into a post-apocalyptic nightmare. Goofy here looks incredibly surprised. For what reason? Some colour might do the trick. Seems he was getting up to some questionable behaviour with Pluto. And a tub of peanut butter? As a word of caution to all you boys and girls out there, stop watching so many adult videos, or else you'll end up like whoever turned these two innocent birds into something worthy of being flagged by the government. 
Frozen has become one of the most popular and of course profitable Disney Pixar movies to have come out in recent memory. So just imagine Olaf's frustration to find out that he had to bow down to a mouse with an annoying squeaky voice. Problem solved though, as we can see here, Olaf owns the company now. I perfectly understand how something like this could happen. When you and your best bud's main diet is made up of exotic bugs and when you live in the African wilderness where any predator could pounce you at any moment, it's only natural for you to have these incidents. When you're an adult whose imagination has been beaten and battered by the drudgeries of modern life, there's nothing left but a sobering sense of realism. That's why this image of the Flintstones exists. On second thought, perhaps this is some sort of workers strike in the Flintstones universe that has gone horribly, horribly wrong. When the cameras aren't rolling, the woodland creatures of Winnie the Pooh's world just want to kick back, relax and knock down a six pack by the bridge. Considering there's nothing else to do in their quiet little town, I completely understand why they want to get sloppy drunk in the middle of the day. This image of Jesus chilling could be interpreted as him admiring his father's creation, or you could envision him smoking some sticky icky in disgust at the horrible, miserable world we've come to know. Here are two mice dueling in front of Cinderella. Not exactly the most peace-promoting scene to grace a kid's colouring book, but an eventful picture nonetheless. With some colour though, it gets a whole lot darker, with Cinderella being the witness to a murder scene. Times have gotten tough ever since Sesame Street ended and Grover wasn't safe from this. As such, the adorable furry monster had no choice but to put his talents to some other use, which in this case means going out at night to eke out some cash from some random John. Movies about detectives trying to catch a serial killer are great. Applying that same formula to a kid's colouring book, though, means you have to go to your local psychiatrist. Even worse, you can even see the severed head's lifeless body in the background, complete with a pool of blood. The world famous mouse is many things, and to find out that the sentient rodent likes to party is not really a surprise. In fact, it's a bit underwhelming to see him licking toads. I was expecting him to be more like the kind of mouse that likes to snort coke surrounded by stacks of cash like Scarface. There's no doubt that Bambi has led a very sad life ever since his mother was killed by hunters, which just makes this picture all the more depressing when you think that this little rabbit friend there shot the crap out of him. Who thinks of this darkness? I'm not really sure what the black and white image here is trying to convey, but with some colour and honey in the appropriate places, you can see that Mickey has a thing for getting it on with little bears. A caterpillar love scene, how wonderful, until you make out that this was the case of being caught red-handed. I like the way the caterpillars at the top look genuinely surprised here, and the fact that the bottom caterpillar is ready to kill and throw around some scorching burns. Look at this innocent kid thinking about homework or imaginary creatures while stargazing. Pretty innocent until you realise the pen is actually a scalpel and the girl is really a sort of deranged self-harming emo. Sometimes it's what you don't see that's most disturbing. This picture just proves that in spades. See, there's no need for an absurd amount of bodily fluid to make a picture dirty. All you need is a turtle and a bear that has a very discomforting look on its face. Got any hilarious colouring book creations of your own? Let me know in the comments section down below. And if you like this video, make sure to click that subscribe button to stay updated. Thanks for watching.